Good morning, folks. All comments, including the most questionable aspects of the LIGO gravitational wave detection, are coming in a deeper look episode either today or tomorrow. Get excited if you want to, not me. Anyway, have you spotted the sun diving comet here? It's running right above the arm holding the central opaque disk. We've seen time and time again how planetary geometry will let the sun tick up in activity, but if we want that earth-facing quiet to break, we really do need to bring in the big guns. It's actually two sun diving comets tracking in there. As soon as they got close to the sun, the fireworks began, watching their approach one more time here. Let's come to spaceweathernews.com and first check the sun at 193 angstroms. The flash, flare, and CME are easily discerned. It was the sunspot group we vied for days, gaining complexity overnight that we'll analyze momentarily. The flare hit C9 class just below M range, was still able to produce a wide breadth of ejecta. You can tell by how much the corona ripples upon the burst. Much is going north for sure, but the ripples came down as well and so it looks like we have a three-quarter halo eruption. Bottom left, we see nothing, but to the north is the main burst with secondary components down and to the right, meaning Earth is almost certain to take an impact there. NASA's annual spiral is updated to show that impact, but they don't have it coming till late on the 15th. I really think we could see this impact before then, sometime on the 14th. Anyway, here's that sunspot group. The central magnetism complexity increased to delta class at some point between yesterday's morning news and now. Blue and red in collision mode there, so more flares could be coming. Solar wind speed in yellow is showing a bottoming out, but a dense wave bunched up within the slow particles swept past Earth last night and it was a bit like a splash of water on you when you're sleeping. It's not going to hurt you, but you're going to jump up like what the blazes was that. Earth shield will be just fine and get your rest for the CME impact that's coming. How about that corona hole reaching a finger up to center disk this morning, delivering a new quake watch, and Indonesia rumbles immediately with a 6.5. There are no coincidences. And the OLR for that area does show a major gradient between positive and negative anomalies, always keeping our eyes on all of it. Folks, we already had three cyclones on the CME uptick that started three days ago, when last night's burst unleashed the fourth, just off Jakarta in the eastern Indian Ocean, to make four southern cyclones in four days after more than a week of quiet. Website members posted in both the Deeper Look section and the Observing the Frontier video section, I redid the highlights from State of the Sun 2016 and State of the Earth 2016 and have posted them for you there. Those presentations were really best left to quick summarization for those of you already well versed in the material. Check them out. And we'll go back to pressure and radar, follow it by shots of our star to close. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Hey! <laughs>